Good morning. I'm on the way to work, set out a couple of hours earlier, got the fishing gear in the back of the car, and I'm going to have some time on the Montgomery Canal. I do like to fish the Severn, but unfortunately, the river levels are rising rapidly. The graph looks like an immigration graph into the United Kingdom, shooting upwards, out of control, and so I've decided to visit the canal instead. You always need a plan B, don't you, in life, and most certainly in fishing. A couple of minutes in, the fish have arrived and I'm not a blanker. I'm fishing with my standard rod and reel that I use for this type of situation. I just tinker with the the details, that's all. But I've still got a size 14 Drennan Super Specialist hook, a couple of white wriggling maggots. I've adjusted the float to between five and six feet. I have plummeted when I arrived, got the plummet on, got the boat channel, and then you've got the, the gradual shelves coming off there. So from the the hook itself I've got a small shot that takes it down that's about three inches and then as I say about five feet of water people passing by there they always have a little look at what you're up to and there's the the float I've got the shot either side and that is such that I can move it so the next time I fish with this will probably be on a small pond and I'll drop it right the way down to about two feet always make sure though if you do that that you don't nip the shot on too tight because the last thing you want to do is to weaken the line which by the way is four pound Maxima Chameleon. I'm doing well, I'm catching regularly so far this morning. All small fish though, let's see if I can get something bigger on the bank. I did say I was fishing with a size 14 hook, it's actually a 12 because the last few sessions that I've been doing on the woodland ponds. I've been fishing with sweet corn, so I did up the size of the hook slightly. So what I've done, because I'm catching lots and lots of tiny roach this morning, I've decided to put three maggots on. Maybe that will give the bigger fish a chance. It certainly looks tempting, doesn't it? Hopefully, if you're a roach or a perch, it will be. Should have added pike to the list. Just a small one. Picked up the maggots, the float dipped, I struck and the water's fairly clear so I saw what it was. Great to get it in the net and on the bank though. That's a nice roach. Needed the landing net for that one. The boat has passed through, the water is obviously coloured it's made a difference because I am catching some bigger roach now. All relatively speaking, of course. Nice fish though. That's a nice surprise on the last cast. An eel. I'm at parkour now, let work commence. I am slimy and smelly, so I do carry wipes in the car, but I think on this occasion, particularly with the eel, I need to go into the bathroom and have a, a good scrub with soap and water. I've got three interviews to do, plus some website stuff as well. As always though, looking forward to it. As I so often say, fishing and football, not a bad life is it.